And also my colleague Siddharth MP is joining us live from Sri Harikota at this point of time. Siddharth, this is a crucial moment for India and France, isn't it? Um, now, France and India have, of course, been close partners, and this is a partnership that also extends into the space sector as well. Tell us as to how France and India have been collaborating in the space sector. Thank you, Mohamed, for that question. So let me start by telling you that uh, France has been one of the earliest collaborators for the Indian space program. So uh, Jacques Blomont is also a Padma Shri awardee. He's been given India's highest uh, award, civilian award, by the Indian government because of how closely he's worked with the Indian Space Agency right from its inception. So he was among the early friends of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, who was the founding father of the Indian Space Agency. So when ISRO had its uh, you know early days and inception at a small fishing hamlet in Tiruvannathapuram in Tumba, that was a time when the French Space Agency and its founding director and scientific director used to visit uh, ISRO and offer them, you know, tips and scientific guidance on how to go about rocketry because ISRO was a new entrant. Basically, in the 60s, rocketry was something that was limited to World War One and World War Two countries. So it was barely a handful of nations that had rocket technology, and it was also closely linked to missile technology uh, to whatever extent missiles were evolved at that point of time. So obviously, as not a key participant of any of the world wars, India did not have missile technology neither did India have rocket technology but whatever basics we learned were because of several countries that helped us in the initial years they guided us they offered training to Indian scientists they even provided small sounding rockets to launch to the upper atmosphere US was among one of the supporters uh, Russia supported the erstwhile Soviet Union then of course there was France uh, these were the countries that supported India in the initial years but the key moment in Indo France space co uh, cooperation was in the 1970s when there was an agreement signed between Israel and the French agency CNES to develop what right. is known as a Vikas engine. Right. So we are coming to you from Satish Dhawan Space Center. Behind us you can see three rocket models. All of them are powered by the Indo-French Vikas engine. So remember that all three major Indian rockets today, even today, are powered by the Indo-French Vikas all engine, right. which is a liquid-fueled engine developed by teams from India and France. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Siddharth MP, for joining us and getting us those details. We'll of course come back to you as more details merge in the story now. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.